Welcome to Electron Line. How do we triangulate our position based on the satellite readings or the distance from us to the satellite using GPS? Well, it works as follows. We need at least three satellites, and as we will see in a moment, we actually need a fourth satellite. Now, that's kind of odd because normally to triangulate yourself in a position in space, XYZ space, you should only need three reference points, so three satellite readings. But what happens is as follows. Let's say that we get the distance to the first satellite. Let's call that D1. Well, if we only know D1, that means we only know position, how far away you are from that satellite that can be anywhere in three-dimensional space that puts you on a sphere somewhere at a distance D1 away from the satellite. Assuming that this here is our first satellite, let's call that satellite number one. If we know D1, that places us somewhere on a sphere around that satellite a distance d1 away from the satellite. We just don't know in what direction. Now we take a reading to the second satellite and again this is assuming we know where the satellite is at. We know the location of the satellite and we know we're d1 away from that first satellite. We now take a reading on the second satellite. We know where the second satellite is at and we know our distance to that satellite. Now we draw a second sphere around the first sphere, so let's say that our second satellite, we know the location, it's right there, and we know we're, we're a distance D2 away from that satellite. That means if we're a distance D1 from the first satellite and a distance D2 from the second satellite, wherever the two spheres overlap, that's where a circle is formed, we must now be somewhere on that circle. So let's go ahead and draw the circle. There must be some sort of circle where the two spheres overlap. Now it places us anywhere on that circle, but we don't know yet exactly where on the circle. Theoretically, if we know the exact position of each of the three satellites and the exact distance of the three satellites, having a third satellite, let's say a third satellite is over here, satellite number three, we know that we're distance D3 away from that satellite, we'll again have a sphere around the third satellite, and notice that that, that sphere will then intersect that circle in two places. Let me first draw D3 here, this is D3, and that means we now know that we must either be at this spot or at this spot. Typically, when you take a close reading on those two spots, one of them seems like a reasonable value and the other one is probably extremely unreasonable, not likely to be at. So with some small calculations, we should be able to eliminate one of the two of spots. And then we know an exact position, we will know exactly where we are. The problem with that is we were assuming that we knew the exact positions of the satellites and, more importantly, we knew the exact distance from us to the satellite, which is typically not very easy to do. If there's any sort of error or uncertainty in those readings, you will find out that we don't have an exact spot where we could be at, we'll probably have some sort of region where we can be at, and that region could be quite large. It could be hundreds of meters in radius, even thousands of meters in radius, which really would give us a very inaccurate position for ourselves. That's where we need a fourth satellite. What we then do is we have a fourth satellite somewhere, and let's, let me use a different color. Fourth satellite, here it is. And again, we can measure our distance to the fourth satellite. And even though that distance may not be absolutely accurate, what we can then do is we can do calculations with the, and let's go like this. We can do calculations by eliminating one of the three satellites and, and utilizing the fourth instead of the first, the fourth instead of the second, the fourth instead of the third, and eventually through some calculations we can actually come up with what we call a delta t quantity. The reason why we need a delta t is because the distance from a satellite to a position, or the position that we think we are, is simply an equation of distance equals velocity times time distance equals velocity times time and the velocity of course is the speed of light because that's the speed at which the signal travels to us. The time will be equal to the time difference between the time of the satellite and the time of our receiver. So basically what it comes down to is that distance 1, 2, 3 is equal to the speed of light times the distance times the time difference between the time of the satellite, the space vehicle, minus the time of the receiver. That difference in time has to be absolutely accurate. Now we already know that the space vehicles have atomic clocks on board and their time is very, very accurate. It may not be absolutely perfect, but it's pretty close to being perfect. 
The problem is our receivers don't have those atomic clocks. They tend to be small, and we can't put an atomic clock in them. They're very expensive. So what we need to do is we need to somehow find a way to adjust for that. And if we don't, then there's a certain amount of uncertainty in here, which then results in a certain amount of uncertainty as to where we think we are. But if we can come up with a delta t that eliminates the uncertainty and the error in our receiver time, then we can have a very accurate dis difference between those two, and then we can have a very accurate distance for each of the three satellites. And that's what we need here, that's what we need the delta t for. And by incorporating the information of the fourth satellite, we're then able to come up with what we call a correction time, which can then be added or subtracted from the receiver time, which then will give us a very accurate difference between the satellite, the space vehicle, and the receiver time. And then we can get a very accurate reading of where we actually are. It's amazing that we can do that with a fourth satellite, but that again, that is why the GPS system absolutely requires a fourth satellite. If at any given time you can only see three satellites, you're going to get a very coarse feeling or very coarse reading of where you are. And if you get that fourth satellite in there, then you can get a very accurate reading very quickly by calculating that delta T. And that's how our GPS system works.